Hi guys, how are you? This is Zuram. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about um, object-oriented JavaScript, how you can create classes in ES5 and how you can extend these classes using prototype. I got some messages from developers that there are no classes in JavaScript, especially in ES5. And today I want to demonstrate, first of all, classes in ES6, which was added in 2015. And according to the uh, developer Mozilla org, this is a syntactic sugar of the ES5 version. Meaning that we do have classes in ES5 also, but they are not actually called classes, but we can use functions as a classes. And ES5 special keywords were added class extend uh, for this purpose for object oriented JavaScript. Let's start. So um, I'm going to create a person class which has, um, by the way, my ES version is set to 5. I'm going to move it to 6. Okay. I'm going to create a um, <clears throat> class person which has, for example, just a constructor and name property. So, um, probably you are already familiar with uh, classes, you are really comfortable creating and using them, but there are some gotchas what you need to know uh, for sure. Uh, first thing is that every code in ES6 has its correspondence code in ES5. For example, if you create class like this, so uh, this will be something like for person, is a function this which has a name and this name is given name that's ES5 version and that's ES6 version so um, what about adding methods This is the ES6 version and adding methods inside prototype is an ES5 version. So there are many transpilers which takes the code which is written in ES6 and converts it into ES5. So if you copy and paste this code and put it in one of these transpilers, you will get something like this. There are some boilerplate code uh, definitely in your ES5 version, but the basic idea is this, that you define a function using var keyword and you add the method in the uh, prototype. Again, there will be additional code also, but this is the main. Okay, let's focus on ES6 first. Uh, one thing which I should mention is that in ES5 we, we have actually uh, two possibility to create a function like var person is function and function person and both of them are valid codes and you can create later new instance uh, using any yeah no matter how you define actually class um, for es6 you cannot actually create an instance before the class is declared. So uh, I'm going to comment this and I'm going to create a new person. Let's execute the code. And here's an error. Person is not defined. If I move this down, Then person is defined and I can call this p say hello method. Hello from John. That's one thing. Uh, second thing is that uh, you can actually have um, class expressions. 
like you have function expressions. This is a function expression. Function person is a, a function declaration. So this is a class declaration, but you can actually have uh, class expressions in ES6. So let person is class, for example. This is one way, and it works exactly uh, as it was before. Or I can call here um, another name, class person2. This person2 is only visible inside the class body here. So if I try to create an instance using person2, this will give me an error because class identifier, which should be used for creating new instances, is person. Uh, but what is a class name? Person class has a name, and the name says that it's person2. So the name of the class is this. Another interesting thing uh, is static methods. Um, I have not talked about this in my previous videos uh, in ES5, but this is uh, much simpler than adding methods in um, prototype. So in ES6, you just write keyword static, um, hello, hello from someone. And we can actually uh, call this as a, as a normal static function, like uh, person hello, which prints hello from someone. In ES5, we can directly define this method on person object, like person hello is a function. Again, you can take this code put it in some online or um, in your setup uh, transpiler uh, from ES6 to ES5, and you will get something like this with some additional boilerplate code. Two more things about um, ES6 classes. First thing is that we must have uh, only one constructor, and if you have two or more constructors in the class, this will throw an error. If you have a parent class and a child class, let me clean up this and create another class, class student, which extends person, and it has student number, which is actually an example of my previous video in ES5. What I need to do here is to call my person's constructor. So super and give a name. So if you don't call the super, the constructor complains. And you can also, you cannot also call super um, after you assign something. So super must be called as the first statement um, in this constructor before you actually use this keyword. So it, it may not be the first statement. Um, the first statement may be some console log, hello something, but uh, if you need to call super before you use this keyword. So I'm going to move this up. And the another interesting thing is um, say hello, which overrides Hello from student, hello from person, and I will create now a student, let me zoom out this a little bit, new student which has name and number. And p say hello now calls 
students say hello method because students say hello overrides the person say hello. But the thing here is that we can actually call um, person say hello from student say hello. And this can also be done in ES5. So if the say hello returns something, returns my string, which does its own job and returns my string, I can I can call this super say hello, which will be a person person say hello and add something like date for example. New date plus s and return this. So I need to print this. And you can see that we have hello from person John. So what this does is it calls person say hello method. It calls person say hello method, saves the output and adds additional thing. That's absolutely fully object oriented behavior that you can parent, you can call parent object, take its result, add something or remove something and return updated say hello. This is one of the websites which converts ES6 to, into ES5, babeljs.io. I'm gonna copy and paste our code, our ES6 code here, and we can have a look at the output. So, as I mentioned before, uh, these are some boilerplate code, which will be in every, every class. But what we are interested in uh, is these starts here. So we define a, a function person with var function expression. Um, we have some um, additional check here. We define a function, say hello, and below we have a student function which inherits from person. That's, that's it. And here uh, inside say hello, and we have here a super say hello, so we execute person say hello method and here inside um, say hello for student this what this code does it finds this say hello method in uh, students prototype which will be person say hello and executes it on this object this object here is a student object so we call person say hello method on student object and we say we return variable in s and then add date. What I want to remember from this video is that classes in ES6 are just syntactic sugar uh, which simplifies writing code but classes in ES6 doesn't do anything new what cannot be done in ES5. It can be done with much longer code and developers used to write this longer code years ago and then ES6 was re released which is really awesome, uh, really good. You should, you should be writing in ES6 uh, whenever you have um, support for this but I think you should also understand uh, how this code actually is interpreted and how, what's the correspondence code in ES5. Um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click on the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, click on the subscribe button. See you next time.